You ever choke a bitch? Me neither. But some things that make me think about going back on that are some of these things that I fucking hate about YouTube, okay? Now I love most of y'all, okay? YouTube is love. YouTube is life, like Shrek. It's beautiful. But some things about this goddamn site piss me the fuck off. Some of my experiences, it's terrible. We're gonna talk about them shits today. It's something I like to call shit that pissed me off about YouTube. Number one, I, I tweet with y'all, I be kicking it with y'all at VidCon, I be fucking talking in the comment section of y'all. Hell, some of y'all is even so talented, y'all legit help me with my content, aka hashtag BlastMessAZ trying to laugh challenge. That's y'all, okay? But there's that one percent that sucks ass. You know who I'm talking about, okay? The motherfuckers who go in the comment section and talk all types of fucked up shit. And then, if you say anything negative back to them, like, then they start trying to play the pity card. Oh, how could you say this to me? What is wrong with you? You're supposed to be better than this. And what makes it even worse is, like, some people will start piling up under that comment, talking about, oh, bro, I lost respect for you. How could you treat it? Bro, I had one dude tell me that my mom, oh, your mom's a fat, ugly, crackhead whore, right? I'm like, oh, word? So I remember typing up under that. I'm like, you can suck my balls, man. My mom is a great person. Kiss my ass, I hope you die in a tire fire. And people up under that, oh, ho! Oh, blasphemous AZ, I didn't know you treated your fans this way. How could you do this? Bruh, service announcement, I. If you talk shit to me, you are not my fan. If you say fucked up things about my friends and families, you are not my fan, man. Okay, and I really, really don't care if you actually go fuck yourself. I don't care about you individually, okay? I don't understand where a motherfucker can talk fucked up shit to you, and if you say some fuck shit back, then you're the bad guy. Really? Number two. I can't stand this whole money hungry shit on YouTube, right? Like if you make a living off of YouTube, you're damn near Saddam Hussein out this bitch. Like motherfuckers will go out of their way to call you money hungry. Y'all have motherfuckers making videos talking about this is how much it makes and it's a bad idea, this is awful. What's fucked up about it is, it's like being successful just immediately makes you money hungry nowadays, especially on YouTube. And I could completely go for that, you know what I mean? Like the whole, oh, you're just money hungry shit. If everything in the world didn't cost money. Like, do you, do you ever think about that shit? Cause where I'm from, they got a word for people who aren't money hungry. Homeless. That's the motherfuckers sleeping at the bus stops and shit, asking for change. You see what I'm saying? I hate that shit. That shit don't make no damn sense. You know what I mean? It's like, I swear to God, you just know anyone calling you money hungry on YouTube is either A, a squatter, which I don't know how the fuck they have Wi-Fi to watch YouTube if they do, B, prepubescent, okay? Cause you can only imagine this nigga isn't old enough to understand like that bills will happen regardless of like how much integrity you have. <laughs> Very seldom have I ever seen it happen that a motherfucker could go into their landlord's office and be like, hey man, I don't have your rent this month, but what I do have is integrity. It would cut scene to him like sleeping under a bridge in a box. That would be the whole goddamn thing, I promise you. Number three. I've had situations happen with YouTubers, right? who will legit go out of their way to try to slander me, will send like all of their freaking fans at me, try to take me down, do all this fucked up shit to me, will try to strike videos that has none of their shit in it, like crazy shit like that. But then when I message them and let them know that they are, you're a sack of shit and go fuck yourself. 
I hope all the bad things in life all happen to you. I'll be telling everyone that I run into, that's a YouTuber, how shitty you are of a person. The motherfuckers then have the nerve. Go tell people that I'm the bad person. I legit had a motherfucker strike me for some shit that was not there. When I emailed him to, to tell him, bro, like this isn't yours, you're striking me, right? Like this isn't freaking cool. Like the only time he messaged me back was when I got lawyers involved, right? But then when I got lawyers involved, like four days later, after messaging him on every platform, social media platform he had, when I actually start, you know, the suing process back, then he messaged me literally, and I, I wish I was joking on this, seven minutes later, when for the last four days I've been trying to get a hold of the motherfucker, wouldn't say shit to me. Hit him up on every social media platform dude had, right? And get this shit, this is the kicker. He then messages me, apologizing profusely and swearing to God that it was YouTube who struck me, not him, when his name was on the strike, which when you get when you get a strike, the person who struck you, their name, their email is, is on the fucking strike, right? His shit was all on, he's like, bro, it was just, it was YouTube who did it. You know what I mean? I had nothing to do with it. Then after that, the motherfucker then tries to get me to shout him out. He's like, oh man, dude, we should do videos together. We should work together. So when the strike got taken off, he keeps messing with me. I'm like, bruh, bruh, look, 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 okay? You abuse the copyright system to strike me, try to get my channel taken down, go fuck yourself. Number four. Your friends and family that don't support you until after you already become successful on YouTube. You know what I mean? Like when you're in the incubatory, it's, it's, when you're just starting your channel, no one has any love for you, right? Everyone's telling you, what the fuck are you doing? Like, come on, man, you need to get a job at the gas station. Like, this is this is not a real job. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're such an idiot. You need to, you need to get a real job, you know? But then, these are the same people that when your shit takes off, these are the same motherfuckers asking to do collab. Hey man, we should do some vids together. Or I swear to God, I had this one fucking chick who legit, when I first started my YouTube channel, I'm telling her like, yo, hey, can you check out my videos? She legit told me I got mad. Get the fuck away from me with that. Get the fuck out of here. I wanna watch your shitty fucking videos. Leave me alone, leave me alone. But then when I got like 500, 600,000 subs, I see her and she's like, you know, I always knew that you would do well. I'm, I, I knew it, I'm so, I'm so glad. I was, I was there the whole time. But didn't you tell me to get the hell away from you with my videos? And she was like, what? No, why would I, say, no, God, I never said that, that wasn't me. Like, and I had to ask the girl that I was dating, I'm like, she said that, right? And the girl, and the girl was there, she's like, yeah, she definitely told you to get the fuck away from her with your videos, like, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, what? Cause the chick legit believed that she didn't do the shit. I'm just like, what? Number five. YouTube nice guys. Like big YouTubers who have made it. So now they're holier than thou. And then start trying to preach. I can't stand that shit. Like these people need to shut the fuck up. I cannot stand that shit at all. Like there's this one huge fucking YouTuber, right? Used to watch this guy back in the day before he got really fucking big, right? And the guy now, he's like, oh man, you know, you should never, you should never clickbait in the least. And, and, and it's just so terrible that YouTube is becoming this and people are, are doing you know, things that aren't morally cool and, and it's just not nice. And I'm just sitting there like, man, if you don't shut the fuck up. He's like, yeah, man, people are using YouTubers' names and their titles who aren't in the videos and, and you know what I mean? And that will be all well and good, right? But I bet you five bucks that guy does not know that back in the day, before he got big, I used to watch his vids and I would look at his video description or whatnot because his videos were taken off and I'm like, how is he doing that? I would look in the descriptions and, and the fucking tags of his videos and he would have other big YouTubers' names in the shit. 
word, but then when you get all huge and shit now, oh man, you know, you should never do that, and you know, it's all about moral, blah, blah, blah. Like, I have no problem if you're like a super duper nice dude, or if you're like crazy religious, or like if you feel like, you know, people should do a certain thing, but I feel like you shouldn't like, like try to push your beliefs off on other people, you feel me? Because I know a lot of big YouTubers who are super duper great, freaking they don't curse, really awesome people who are like that, but they don't preach the shit. Corey Kenshin, you know what I mean? He's like one nice dude, he censors the game's curse words. Super duper nice dude, he raises a ton of money for charity. You don't see him preaching about the crap in his vids. Well, like at the end of every video, well guys, again, just remember, you gotta be a good person because if you do well on YouTube, because if you become successful on YouTube and you're not doing what I'm doing, then it makes you a bad person. Like he doesn't do that shit. Markiplier, donate, great dude, nice guy. Met the dude a bunch of times in real life. He's nice as all of his shit down to earth as hell. He don't preach none of that. These people understand that you do you and I'ma do me. And people don't fault each other for not being the way that they believe that people should be. You feel me? I can't stand that shit. I can't stand it. One YouTuber, and this dude is freaking a huge 2K17 basketball uh, video game YouTuber, right? The dude legit used to put uh, Bible scriptures at the ends of his videos, right? To, you know what I mean? To play up the whole nice guy thing, and oh, I'm a great nice guy. I'm, a, I'm such a nice guy, and you know, don't curse, and oh, I'm holier than thou. And he got caught basically employing somebody under modern day slavery wages out this bitch. Paid like fifteen dollars a video. Wasn't employees supposed to live off of dollar menu food for the rest of their lives? What type of fucked up shit is that? But it's really funny because the guy, his dislike ratio is 50-50 now. It's awful. The backlash on this guy is awful. And it wouldn't have been like that had he just been a regular human being with flaws and stopped trying to preach and act like he's the greatest thing since pants with pockets out this bitch. But those are a couple of things that I hate about YouTube. I hate now. Let me know in the comment section down below if y'all want me to do another one of these. Uh, make sure to like this mug up. If this does well, you know, if y'all fucks with it, then I'm gonna do some more of these. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe. Twist.